everyone! Welcome to Library Butterflies. My name is Heather and I work for the Okanagan Regional Library. And I am so excited. Today we are releasing the butterflies that we've had in my home now for about two weeks. Well, we're out on my patio now. The butterflies are very excited. They're flying around. And soon I'm going to take a pin, unzip the front flap there and pin it open. So hopefully the butterflies will fly out. All right, so now it's open. And pretty soon I'll put up a red arrow. The first one flies out on its own pretty easily. There we go. So I put some flowers on the table in front of the enclosure just to maybe entice them, kind of draw them out of the enclosure. You can see they're having a little bit of a hard time finding that opening. So what I did is I took one of those flowers, it's a carnation, and I gently kind of in a sweeping motion tried to get the legs of the butterfly to just be on the carnation. I have to say, I was a little bit scared, and I don't even know why, of the butterflies. There one came out, he just ended up walking along the table and flying off. There he goes. And off into the wild. It's going to be different not having them in my house anymore. But at the same time, I'm really happy that they get to go in and just experience nature on their own now. Some of them just needed a little bit of coaxing, so... There's one. I'm going to bring it up just to show you a bit of what it looks like close up. I'll get some more pictures at the end to include. So I just gently laid the flower down and when that butterfly's ready, she can go off on her own. Some of them are a little bit stubborn, but that's okay. I'm not trying to rush anything, just maybe give them a helping hand out. There we are. So, their mandibles open and that long proboscis tongue is right inside of those flowers. There's an up close. One flew off, but the one just wanted to stay around a little bit longer. I'm just gonna hold this so you can maybe see a bit of its wing pattern. You'll notice that this one's wings are just a little bit asymmetrical. They're not the same left to right. And sometimes that means it might have more difficulty flying, but this one did take off eventually and I didn't notice it struggling, so that's good. There's a good look of at its antennae. So what I did with this one is, it wasn't quite ready to leave yet, but I didn't want to leave it on the table. It seemed a little bit vulnerable as I walked over just to the bush where these flowers were picked from. And I gently just put him on one of the flowers growing inside there. So I had a lot of food and some shelter. So as these photos show off our butterflies, I want to just say thank you for joining me watching these caterpillars grow into butterflies. From the Okanagan, thanks for watching. Bye for now.